Let me see if I can get this all set up. Hello, friends. It is time to do some cooking. If you are joining me here on Eating a Dime, please go ahead and let me know what is for dinner tonight. Where are you from or what's the weather like? Because here in Oklahoma, it is a super cold, whoo, super rainy. And so I woke up and knew exactly what I wanted to make today. Crock pot chicken pot pie. One of our most popular recipes ever in the history of eating on a dime. And that's what I'm making today. So if you love chicken pot pie, but do not want to do all the work of chicken pot pie, then I have a solution for you. It is called crock pot chicken pot pie. And today on the Eating on a Dime show, that's what we're doing. Okay, let's get started. Let's see who's on here. Lisa, Brandy, we have someone else from Michigan. Um, someone made this in the Instant Pot the other day. Yum, Christina. It's raining in Canada. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so let's get going. The very first thing. Okay, wait. Let's get started. <laughs> the very first thing we're going to throw in in the crock pot is chicken. I'm starting out with completely frozen chicken breast. You're going to use as many as you need for your family. I'm going to throw in three. This is one of those recipes that is great at stretching um, the budget because you're stretching your meat. Next, now remember, the recipe is right above this video on Facebook. Or you can say, hey, send me the recipe if you're on Eating on a Dime and I'll Facebook message you. If you are on um Instagram, I will set, add it to my stories, or you can always DM us and we can try to get you that link as well. Somebody said you are such an inspiration. Thank you so much. That's very sweet. Okay, so now we're going to throw in some potatoes. I already peeled them, and then you're going to dice them up into bite size pieces. Now remember, we're making chicken pot pie, but without all the work. So I'm making the insides of a chicken pot pie in the crock pot, and then we're going to top it with a biscuit. I'm on a live. Um, so I like to just get, you could do crescent rolls, you could do pie crust, but I just buy the flaky biscuits, and then I just bake them according to the, um, like according to the directions. And then what we do is we spoon this into like a bowl, and then we just top it with a biscuit, and then you can just dive into it while you're diving into your chicken pot pie insides. So it is definitely a lazy day recipe. So simple to make. If you wanna make this, guess what? Even easier, forget dicing the potatoes, throw in some frozen hash browns. E is Z. Okay, you guys know I love easy. Whoop. Get this a going. For those of you who are just joining us, we are making crock pot chicken pot pie. It is basically the insides of a chicken pot pie, and then we top it with a buttery flaky biscuit. Mm -mm. Okay, see? The hardest part is chopping up the potatoes. And if you do not want to chop up a potato, use frozen hash browns. I've done it myself and it works great. Okay. Then you're going to throw in just a regular bag of mixed vegetables. These are frozen about a six. This is a two pound bag. So I'm just going to throw in a half a bag. This one has like the peas, carrots, and green beans. I just got it from Walmart. Nothing fancy. Um, completely frozen. Then I'm going to throw in a can of cream of chicken soup, which is going to help it with that creamy consistency. Uh, 
I like to sprinkle in like poultry seasoning or thyme. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. And then I forgot my garlic salt. Dun, 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 dun. My messy salt. Let's just do salt. Some salt. And then we're gonna throw in some milk. Oh, I'm sorry, Denise, that the notification was slow. That's okay. You can always watch the replay. And then we're gonna throw in a little bit of milk. So I'm using milk instead of broth because that will make it creamier. You could use broth. Now, that's all I'm adding in here. Um, the original mm -hmm. recipe calls for chopped celery, but I didn't have any on hand or some onion, but I didn't want to chop an onion because I was too lazy. <laughs> Okay, can you guys see me now? Okay, I think it's working. Technology. Okay, I wanna wait and make sure, sorry Instagram, I wanna make sure Facebook can see now. Still saying no video, no sound. Where'd she go? I'm here, guys. Okay, there you are, Deanna can see me. Can you see me now? Someone else can see me. So frustrating. Okay, I'm back. Woohoo! Sorry about that, guys. Um, for some reason, it just went blank on my computer and I disappeared, but I'm back. Okay, so that's easy. Fortunately, if you just saw the beginning, you saw it all. There's nothing else you have to add to this. I don't even stir it. And then you just stick it in the crock pot, you cover it with lid, and you're going to cook it on low for about eight hours. And then you're going to pull the chicken out, dice it up, and mix it back in. Now, the reason I don't add any more liquid to it is because you don't want it like a soup. You want it like a casserole. So it's supposed to be very thick, just like a chicken pot pie. So if you go to the recipe on eating on a dime, you'll see the pictures. It's very thick, and it has the exact same consistency of the inside of a chicken pot pie. Now, if you do want it to be a soup, you could throw in broth and make it a chicken pot pie soup, which I do have that recipe on eating on a dime as well. Okay, so to head to get to the recipe, you just click the link on the video or on Instagram. I'll add it to stories after we're done. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, you guys can see me. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, so if you just joined me, we just threw in the crock pot in less than eight minutes, including a glitch. Crock pot, chicken pot pie. So no excuses on this cold, chilly, rainy day not to make something comfort food and super delicious because it's only going to take you five minutes to get it in your hot pot. You don't even have to have thawed chicken, friends. What model Ninja do I have? I have the Ninja Auto IK. Gail, how was dinner last night? It was really, really good. Okay. Victoria, if you got cut off, just head back and you can watch the replay. Um, of the video to see what all or you can just head over to eating on dime.com or the link above the video and you will get the recipe and you can make it today Karen's gonna make it woo -hoo. yes you can't Liz you can cook it on high too I would do four hours I don't think three hours will be enough if your chicken is still frozen um, someone on Instagram I can't see your name sorry because it's so small on Instagram but it, yes, you can make this in the Instant Pot. I have a link. I can give it to you. Um, I'll do that in my swipe ups in the story. But you would do about 35 minutes in the Instant Pot. I would add a little bit broth to it to make sure you have enough liquid in the Instant Pot for it to come to pressure. But I'll give you the link in the stories as soon as we're done with the live as well. Who won the birthday giveaway? I'm actually announcing that on Instagram today. I meant to do it, 
yesterday and it totally slipped my mind. And so I'm going to do it today. Joyce just printed the recipe. Woohoo! Okay. I'm out of here, guys. You guys have a great Wednesday. I hope I inspired you to make something super simple and super easy, even on a rainy, cold day. Um, head on over to Eating on a Dime to get this recipe. Bye, friends.